M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Playing around with PyStar and M17 connection. Now remember, normally in PyStar, if you go to configuration, you do not get the option to turn on M17, okay? But in this case, we have. So how did we do that? What you do, you go to, I've got a couple of links here. Here's one of them. And there is the a patch that you can put into your SSH on your PyStar. I'll just scroll down and find that a second. And thanks to Elegio Chiazza, nice name. Um, so the link to the patch is, here's the patch here, okay? Curl forward, see this red text here? On the left it won't run on the latest um, PyStar version which is 4.17 but it will run on the 4.15 which I've done just looking at some other links M17 have some information on this as well and I found another listing here by DK1MI with very similar information he's actually made an MD380 and modified it you can see there again that's on the M17 and lots of information. And I remember my videos are me learning. They're not me teaching. I know it's, it's like that, but no, I am a learner. I'm a new person, a newbie, a novice who just learns in front of a camera. And either, either you draw from that or you don't. Okay, now the hat that you're running, the MNDVM hat needs to be running version 1.60 firmware version 1.60 and I've got a video here that I'll put a link in the description how you can upgrade the hat. You need to go into SSH and run this command sudo pystar mndvm hat flash. Okay, that's to run it, get it up to version 1.6. How can you tell? Because when it's running, like we've got our hat here, when, it, when it's running, like mine one here, if you look here, it says firmware 1.5.2. Okay, that's the wrong one. It needs to be 1.5.1. Anyway, now there are dashboards. I know that PA7LAM has made a dashboard and there's a dashboard here and you can see my droid star in the background connected to M17, M17 module C. And if I key up M0 FXB test test, M0 FXB test, that is showing up on, their, on the M17 dashboard and hi to the, the people at M17. Now that isn't showing up on the dashboard of my Pi star. So that's the next step. It says here at the bottom, not linked. I'm going to quickly show you how I did this. So first thing you do is go to configuration. You set up the hotspot in the normal way. Then go to expert SSH. Log in, you go pi-str and then raspberry. Like so. And you're in. Now I've been putting in, I'm not saying you, you should do, but I've been making sure that it's writable. If you look on the bottom left here, it says RW. To achieve that, you put RPI-RW, enter, and it, and it changes it to RW. If it says R, I think it's O normally, is it? Well, it might not be, remember. This is what I keep saying to the, the people that are good, who have spent years doing this, maybe even as a job. I'm a novice learning in front of you, yeah? Please don't start preaching me saying I don't know what I'm doing because that's exactly my YouTube channel is I don't know what I'm doing. Please, please get that clear. Fed up with these experts messaging me, telling me off for not getting things perfectly right. Okay, so big thanks to um, Alicio Chiazza because he's put all the links in here. The links will be in the description. Once you get to this point, you get this here. I don't really want to do it twice. You copy it. So we've copied that in blue. See it there? Copy. Then you go here, click. Then you right click and go paste from browser. And then you right click again. You get this new window open. Right click, paste. And when you click, click OK, yeah, it's it will go here and it will run. Now, I'm not going to do it twice because we've done it. I don't want to do it again and then just follow it through and it will prompt you to reboot on one piece of information it said here on uh, let's have a look now which one it was the dk1 mi it says here once you've done that he's got the same link here see the curl don't put the hash in the curl just curl forwards and then it slides across see all that that's the one that you're putting in 
It says here, following command starts the gateway service. Now I've tried this. I'm going to copy it, I'll try it again now. Right click, paste, put it in here, paste, click OK. And then I'm going to hit it and, oh, this time it actually did do something. So maybe that'll make a difference. But when I did it, look, it says there failed writing body. It didn't actually work. Go back to dashboard. Leave. So I think we've gone about as far as I can go. You can see my droid star. You can go on M17, M17, module C you select whenever you want. Uh, any, you know, as even now, if you've got droid star on your, on your smartphone, on your PC, it's called dude star. Now what I'm going to try now in front of you is because I had to do Pi Star 4.1.5 to get this on here, to, to let it load up and, and basically patch up the original software by Andy Taylor. And remember, Andy Taylor invented MW0, MWZ, Pi Star. Anything that looks like this comes from Pi Star. Yes, you can create what they call a GUI and you can change it and tweak it and improve it and do things that are great for it. But overall, Andy Taylor invented Pi Star and changed the world regarding ham radio. Remember that. He should get a lot of credit for that. And he's actually got a, a site, a website um, that I can show you. There you go. And what a fantastic website. And look, this man really cares about hams. And he cares about non-experienced hams, newbies, novices. He doesn't tell you off and preach at you if you don't follow um, any of his guidelines exactly because he understands that most hams aren't have not been to university ham radio and are just enjoying chatting talking to people hf d star almost and enjoying in capital letters hobby okay so bear that in mind so big big thank you andrew taylor in wales Fantastic, you changed the world for ham radio. But anyway, so let's go back to what we're talking about. There's our dashboard, and let's have a go at updating. Now, you can put in commands to update. The commands are shown here. I'm going to try the, using the, the actual page, but the commands are there on the left. Pseudo PyStar update, pseudo PyStar upgrade. And if you don't know how to do this and you're learning for the first time, well done, well done for learning and trying to learn. So configuration, I'm gonna click um, update and let it do its thing. Now some people, when they go and get a job, they get a job in computer science, they might get a job in writing Linux programs, they could be code writers. They could have a job that enables them to have skills that you, Mr. Average, who might work in a shop or in a garage or, you know, <clears throat> a completely different field, just as important as any other job, might not have those skills and have to learn from the beginning. Yeah. And that's that's the way it is. The person who has got the knowledge, it doesn't give them the right to preach down to you and go, oh, read the manual, read the 100 page manual. Um, uh and so on and so on and so on. So you can see now it's actually downloading. It says here M17 voice file. So maybe this is something I definitely should have done. Downloading M17 P25. So maybe when you've got M17 and patched, then you can start doing these updates. So it might link now if I'm lucky. But remember, anyone can do this. You know, anyone with very basic skills can do this. It's not even clever. It's just work. That's all it is. Commitment and work. All of us are the same cleverness. All of us are born intelligent. Remember that. So uh, so that's done. So configuration. Let's do now upgrade. We've done update. Now let's do, let's try admin. We've got update, configuration, expert. Oh, sorry if I made a mistake and didn't find it straight away. Maybe I should have read, read a 100 page manual. And then I'd be clever and as clever as the other people. And I look, it says here, detected Pi Star 4.616. That's good. Now, I I don't know why, but mine wasn't telling me that it was running 4.16. And I really tried hard to run that. So now it's saying I've detected it. 
that's interesting. So it's a started upgrade, 4.15 to 4.16. Excellent that it's done that, and I can upgrade my other hat. So now we'll go dashboard. So it actually now is showing that it's connected. So the next thing we're going to do is give a call out on M17 with my Droid Star radio, which is, again, doesn't take much cleverness to download an app. Select M17, M17C. So let's just give a call out. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, M0 FXB, calling for a contact. Please give me an audio report, M17, M17 Module C. And you can see there that I did transmit on M17 and it's working great. And I didn't have to go to university to do this. I think I spent two hours learning how to do all this. Um, so working great. Now, you can use M17 on PyStar, the original, Andrew Taylor original system. You can, remember that. Um, so uh, we've just done that. Let's look at their dashboard and you'll see there 27 seconds ago, there I am and it even says that it got my voice. Now I've got an M17 module here, which it took me hours to put together uh, and get working. But I'll tell you now, the second I asked for some help doing it, I was told to read the manual. Uh, by the same few people um, and that's rude in my opinion and um, same goes for when I've been using other systems I've, I've had a rant from someone uh, top of the system a rant because I put the wrong uh, I, I used a different system to put the Wi-Fi details my username and password details onto an SD card and I got a rant and got sworn and was sworn at by the administrator I'm not going to say who it is, but I'll give you three guesses. Um, so anyway, that's work, success. Uh, really pleased about that. Please message me for help. Don't feel stupid because I want to help people that are learning because that to me is way more valuable than helping someone who know who thinks they know everything, um, which they generally tend not to. And um, so there you are. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come back with a dashboard soon and I'm going to completely change the colours of this dashboard so it looks like an M17 dashboard. So I'm going to use blacks, greys, reds and whites and it's going to be the best looking M17 dashboard because yes, you can customise every single colour that you are seeing on Pistar. So having a super duper colour um, dashboard um, isn't hard. It's not even clever. And I've spoke to Andrew Taylor well, I've, no, I haven't spoken. I've emailed Andrew to Andy Taylor, the inventor of the PyStar system, the person who should be getting all of the credit for PyStar. And I have asked him, can we create a live dashboard? Um, because at the moment, if you want to see who you're talking to, you get a long list here. And then you can, of course, click and go on to QRZ. In this case, it's going straight to radio.net. But you can, again, you can change that in settings so it goes straight to QRZ. Very easy to do, by the way. Um, so that worked great. Really pleased that we got a TX on the dashboard there. So let's have a look at now. We the Pi Star has gone up to 4.16. Um, I believe there is a version of 4.17. So I'm just going to try it because maybe when you've got M17 running, 4.17 won't actually run. But let's see if it does. But definitely went to 4.16. I'm very pleased about that. Uh, we'll click, we'll do the update and the upgrade again. And yeah, get yourself a hotspot because what does a hotspot do? It connects you to the internet. So it connects an ordinary digital radio to the internet, saving you needing to connect to a repeater. Now I do believe we should support our repeaters and we should use our repeaters if they're near us, 100% and donate and make donations to help them pay for those repeaters. Um, but most of us aren't in that position. And having a hotspot will enable that. Plus, it's great fun. I mean, programming something up at home that cut, that is like a small circuit board that you take apart and put together and you learn about programming Raspberry Pis and SD cards and, and transferring an image from an SD card and then putting it on. And then next thing you know, you pick up your radio and you're talking to someone in Australia. How good is that? That's exactly what the hobby is about. And and unexperienced people helping experienced people and vice versa because I'll tell you now I learn more from inexperienced people than I have ever learned from people that know everything because inexperienced people will ask those questions that clever people think 
should never get asked. You know, I've got big family, kids of young and five years old, 20 years old, and they'll go, and the ones I learn from the most are the little ones because they have got the questions in their minds that grown-ups and experienced people have forgotten to ask, yeah? Um, kids don't because they, they see it for what it is. You know, I need that, I want that, I please answer a, a basic question which we all think is doesn't need to be answered. So I'm just running it now, 4.16. It looks like it's not going to go higher than 4.16 with M17. So it's finished, back to dashboard. And um, yeah, it's, it's actually now saying not linked, but it was linked just now. I'm sure I just need to do a reboot, uh, but great. I mean, this is brilliant, isn't it? We are on M17. <clears throat> All we need is a modified radio, whether it's an M17 um, module, open RTX, an MD380 modified. There are a couple of other items out there. And I'll put the M17 website in here as well. Fantastic. Great job to all involved, and uh, please remember to that we are all newbies. One of us at one time, all of us are newbies and are learning, and and we are human beings. And in our learning, we make mistakes, and they're not even mistakes. We are learning. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Seven three. Catch you on air. Bye for now.